Now, ladies, please do listen up. I have only one question for all of you. You'll be able to hear the other contestants' answers. You will each have 45 seconds to answer. I will repeat this question twice. The question is, with the ongoing situation between Israel and Hamas at the Gaza Strip, the past 18 days, around 8,000 civilian lives have been lost. If you had the chance to speak to one leader, who would you choose to speak to and what would you say to them to improve the situation? I'll repeat the question. With the ongoing situation between Israel and Hamas at the Gaza Strip, the past 18 days, around 8,000 civilian lives have been lost. If you had the chance to speak to one leader, who would you speak to and what would you say to them to improve the situation? First to answer, Miss Grand Columbia. I would first love to ask the leader of Israel to recognize Palestine as an official state. Everyone deserves to be recognized. Then I would talk to the leader of Hamas because I do not think it is the civilians or the people, neither Israel or Palestine. It is the terrorists that are doing horrible things to humanity, to this territory. It is not Israel or Palestine. We cannot continue to divide people. I would like to ask the leader of Hamas what he has in his heart, what he has in his mind, what happened to him, why he, is he so cruel? Because I studied humanitarian engineering and I'm passionate about psychology. I do believe everything has a reason to be. And I would like to hear him first and please tell him to stop the war. I would also like to ask everyone here a minute of silence for all the victims from Israel and Palestine because both have been attacked through years. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next to answer, Ms. Grant Haru. Nowadays, we live in constant conflicts, and sadly, war is something that is difficult to stop. So I will talk to Israel president and ask him to take care about all his nation, because no one deserves to, to live in, in hurt. There are a lot of people dying day by day, and all the news are horrible. So if we didn't change our minds, if we didn't change our comportment, we can never be a good society. We can never be a great society. So please release the hostages. Thank you. Thank you. Next to answer, Miss Grand United States of America. I would love to have both leaders in one room. I would love to ask them why and if they can settle it on their own without hurting innocent lives. But since I do have to choose one leader, I would choose the leader of Palestine. There is no reason any human being should be living in almost a holocaust, controlled and not enough water. As humans, we need to love with compassion. And as a leader, I would educate him on that term. A leader doesn't hurt. A leader doesn't use violence as his voice. A leader loves, respects, 
and honors his people. Thank you. Thank you. Next to answer, Miss Grand Myanmar. The war between Israel and Palestine is really huge. If I had a chance to speak to one president, I would love to talk to Israelis because every, the war is dependent on both of Israelis and Palestine. The people of both Israel and Palestine are experiencing fear and suddenly and losing innocent life. I would love to tell Israelis and both Palestine to start the war. And I would like to say that the United Nations should take action and find a peaceful solution. And together, we can create a middle ground to coexist. We are humans. We shouldn't do a crimes against humanity. So I would like to say that we should make a middle ground to coexist together. Thank you. Thank you. Next to answer, Ms. Grand Vietnam. My heart goes on to the children because children the future in the world. And I'm also the ambassador of children in my country because the children in my country love peace too. And we are the human. We are ego. No one deserves to suffer the pain of the world. And everyone deserves to live in peace. Let's stop causing each other Stop the war and violence. Thank you. Thank you.